Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will look at the steps to install the Web License Manager WebLM vApp using the VMware vSphere Client and vCenter server. The video you are viewing will demonstrate the steps to install the Avaya Web-based Licensing Manager WebLM vApp into a VMware hypervisor. The steps demonstrated will be performed using the vSphere client and the vCenter server to perform the administration. The OVF wizard will be used to install the WebLM OVA file. That wizard will perform the provisioning of network storage, defining the network interface to be used, and the management of the install. After the install completes, the vApp will be ready to be provisioned and provide web-based licensing services for the Avaya components directed to it. I have opened the vSphere client and logged into the vCenter server, which allows for the administration of all hypervisors controlled by this vCenter. The first step is to select a hypervisor. The hypervisor I have selected will be where this virtual machine will be installed. It is indicated on the left. The next step is to select the file menu and the choice of Deploy OVF Template. The Deploy OVF wizard opens and the first entry is where the WebLM OVA file is located. I am using the Browse button and selecting the OVA file in my hard disk. Once selected, then press the Next button to advance to the next screen. The details of the OVA file are displayed. Press the Next button to advance. The license agreement is displayed. Press Accept and then click Next to advance to the naming of the virtual machine. I have given the virtual machine a unique name and press Next to select the storage configuration. We will use the network attached storage. I have selected the NAS unit and press the Next button which provides a view of the available storage. Pressing Next again advances to the selection of the various network interfaces. WebLM requires a single interface to be set in this release. The management interface will be used to provide all licensing and management functions. I am setting that interface and have pressed Next to go to the IP Properties screen. Enter the WebLM Management IP address in the first field. Tapping through the net mask as a default is acceptable. Enter the default gateway on the network. Enter the DNS server address. Enter the appropriate fully qualified domain name, FQDN. Lastly, the default search list for the domain and finally press the Next button to advance to the summary screen. This screen summarizes the previous input. Validate the configuration. If all is correct, you would push Finish. You can use a Back button to adjust or make changes. I have pushed the Finish button, which opens a status dialog to indicate the install progress. I will return after the install completes. The install is completed successfully, and I am closing the completion dialog. That concludes the actual OVA install. The next steps indicate that this WebLM instance is to be provisioned with the licenses required. Access the WebLM server to acquire the correct host ID. Access PLDS and download the licenses for install. Please refer to the published white paper for the next steps. Thank you for your time today. 
We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.